Hi lovelies, this video is about charting your ovulation. I have to start out with, I had no concept of what ovulation was. I kind of understood it, but not really, or when it happened, or whatever. I knew when I got my period, and I knew that average woman ovulated on the 13th day. Well, clearly, I was not the average woman. I actually ovulated on the 10th day. So, and it, it was tricky to find it. So what I did was order these wall drop strips, which... I'll put an example, I'll write down um, the name of them on Amazon, these are little cheap strips, and I actually did a video about this before, but it just wasn't labeled too well. So you take these wadra strips and you get a J Dixie cup and um, you dip it in, and if you get two lines, you're ovulating. And the reason I say this is because like it's $20 for 50, so you can test as much as you want. And I was told to test in the morning and the evening. Clear Blue Easy is very fucking expensive. So that's why I don't advise using them when you're testing all the time. So basically, um, when should you do it? I feel um, eight days, if your period starts today, count out seven to eight days and start testing that day morning and night until you find your freaking ovulation once you find your free ovulate i mean once you find your ovulation with the watch wash tips i would invest in some clear blue easy and use it with a smile no smile that you're ovulating just to back up the watch off strips but what i've noticed is the watch off strips can be a little more sensitive then um, the clear blue easy. So if you get a double line on the water strips in the morning, you might not get the smiley face on the clear blue strips, the clear blue easy until the end of that day or the next day. Either way, that's fine. So you're going to do this for three to five months, chart it, and then you're going to try, especially if you have a partner giving you the free sperm or your husband or your boyfriend or whatever, you're going to have sex before um, you ovulate. Live sperm lasts a long time so that the sperm can be there before the egg gets there. So once you get that double, double line, they have no idea exactly when anybody ovulates. It's 24 to 48 hours after you get the do double line. I think it's the loosen. It's some hormone that gets released that 24 to 48 hours after you get the double line, you ovulate. So either, depending on what method you want to use, you can have sex every day or inseminate every day, or you can inseminate every other day because sperm definitely lasts more than 24 hours. So that's live sperm. Frozen sperm doesn't last that long. So I'm really not good on this frozen sperm calculation. You'll kind of have to do your own research. I don't want to tell somebody when to inseminate and I have no idea. And sperm, frozen sperm is expensive as hell. So I'm not going to act like I know anything about that. Like, comment, subscribe, holla back.